Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back to the more for more Mega Man Battle Network 2. In the last episode, we took out the Net Mafia. In this episode, we are going to play a bit of the post game. First off, we want to assemble an awesome folder like the one I have here. Fire Sword, Aqua Sword, Elect Sword, and compose the uh, Life Sword 2 program in advance, which I will be showing during one of our fights later. Custom Sword, Variable Sword, and Proto Man B also compose a program advance. And as you can see, I've stocked up my folder with Gate Man chips, so we can abuse Gator whenever we want. I have Invis 3s as Shadow 1, a whole bunch of Attack Plus 20s, which will be mega useful when in conjunction with Gator, of course. Silver Fist, Gold Fist, and Zeus Hammer, and of course, all of those wins and fans that we collected. And with that, we are going to be taking on Gate Man until we have a whole bunch of Gate Man 3 chips we have we can use, okay? Funny how Gate Man's own program in advance seems to be the best way to take him out. <clears throat> With that, we get a Gate Man 3. I must be dreaming! I can't keep losing like this for real! Uh, yeah, you kind of can. I'm gonna keep a Gate Man 2 in here just so I can have it set as my regular chip. But. Now we've done that, I think it is about time we showed off some of the program advances we've collected over the course of the game. First up is Fire Sword N, Aqua Sword N, Elect Sword N. This will give us the program advanced Life Sword 2. It has the same range as Life Sword 1, but it does 500 damage, plus any bonus you might have added to it. Next up is Custom Sword B, Variable Sword B, Proto Man B. This will activate a program advance called Double Hero. What it does is it summons Proto Man, and together you attack every every square on the enemy's playing field for 560 damage. A very nice program advance if I do say so myself. Alright, with that out of the way we can say adios to this in favor of more gator. Let's see, what can I substitute in there? Fire Aura might be useful. As will another Shadow One. Okay, next up on our list are, is the Mega Cannon series of program advances. First up is M Cannon EFG, FGH, or GHI. This gives us Zeta Cannon 3, which is three uses of infinite uses of three times M Cannon and five seconds of invisibility. Same stuff we all we've always seen. Mega Cannon EFGHI gives us Omega Cannon 3, which is the same as Zeta Cannon 3, except it gives us 10 seconds of invisibility. Again, I do not recommend using these program advances unless you have nowhere else to go, because, well, they suck. They, they majorly compromise the fluidity of your folder, which is the number of codes and how well they work together. You really want to restrict your folder to having one or two codes. I'm not the best at that, as you can tell, but we're getting there. We have G's, R's, N's, E's, and Z's. That's a five-code folder, so maybe I'll take out this Silver Fist and 
replace it with something else. Take out Zeus Hammer and Golden Fist too, for now. Actually, I know what, no. Let's sort them by code and throw in a bunch of Zs. Or, Fast Gauge. Full Custom. Zeus Hammer. Okay, I have 30 chips, never mind. Yeah. Uh, let's see if we can find a good chip with the code G. I have Time Bomb 2G, that might be useful. Do I have a Time Bomb 1 asterisk? Doesn't look like it. If we did, that would be totally awesome, but we don't. We have Whirlpool G. Uh, you know what? Time Bomb 3 has the same damage as Zeus Hammer, and it's got the G code, so I am going to be using that. What else do I have that will fit pretty well in here? Uh, hmm. I think that's the best we can do with what we have. Anyway. Now, you may be wondering, hey, Silly Cat 2, what are we doing in Undernet 4? Well, do you remember... Ah, virus. Do you remember... Not that door. Why am I being so stupid this episode, huh? Yeah, I gotta... I don't care. Do you remember... There used to be a door here? Ack! Viruses! Why? Why are there viruses? Okay, obstacles are apparently very useful at taking out medallions. And I'm just being stupid here. Come on, put something on my side of the field so I can, yeah, do that. Anyway, there used to be a door here saying that we needed star ID and 130 battle chips. Well, I have 144 chips in my library. With that being said, we can go through this door. Now who's this guy? Hey boy, I'm not saying this to be mean. You should leave. You're headed into the deepest part of the net. It's pretty scary. You can't even jack out in there. Only a fool would rush in where devils feel the tread. Fear to tread. Yeah, well, I'm a fool. What can I say? Welcome to the World 3 area! This is probably what, it, what was left over of the World 3 servers after we went in and blew it up. As you can see, the first security cube we come across can't be opened without a triple S license. That should serve to tell you what we're in for we need to prove our worth that much we are going to have to deal with stuff like this and I am probably screwed because I do not have anything that can wait yes I do these are protectos they are the ultimate security virus put in place by the world 3 to 
keep pesky hackers like us out. The only way to deal with them is... To take care of all of them, uh, is to kill all of them at once. And to do that, we need something like this. Except I majorly screwed up there. That was embarrassing. That explosion of theirs does 200 damage. You really want to be careful about that. They do drop a lot of zennies, but you can only fight them once, and they are blocking certain corridors. Got a chip for Big Bomb O. That is an awesome chip that we are really going to need later on. Actually, we can use it. We can use it right now. What the heck am I saying? Bye bye, Life Sword. Hello. Whatever your name is, Program Advanced, we will be showing you off later. Or, for example, right now, and, um. Psst. Shadow One! Uh. This might not be so good. Uh? Oh yeah. Uh, oops. Wait, 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 wait. What am I doing here? Wind fan gate man. Come on, come on. Work, 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 work. If this does not work, arg, it doesn't work. Yeah, we have like no way to kill that guy, do we? Except for getting lucky with the shadow one. Because Shadow One turns your charge attack into Step Sword. We're going to have to run. No, we can't escape. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to have to run. Yes, we got away. Yeah, just barely. protect those. These, that these guys, are easily taken care of with a program advance. That with a certain program advance. Even Life Sword will do a trick. But are we going to get that program advance in time? Who knows. Gator will do nothing to stop them. All the damage needs to be done in one hit. That is why we have this program advance getting ready. Little Bomb, Cross Bomb, and Big Bomb will give us... Ultra Bomb. 400 damage to the entire... In a, in a, over a 9 square area. Why am I being stupid? Here we have a whole bunch of chips that were around in Battle Network 1, if you like those. Plus we get this chip, Godstone. This is a very unique chip. It only works if you use it in front while standing behind a hole in the ground. If you put it in a hole in the ground though, it spawns Godstone, which pounds the ground and sends rocks falling on the enemy's faces. This cube can be opened up with an S license, so we're going to go through it. And gasp! We are in this area of Den Area 1. 
what could possibly be in this purple mystery data. I don't have enough locker! Are you serious? Ugh! Cut!